Moshi Moshi my gamers and welcome back to Genji Impact. Sai was strange situation put everyone on alert and Saron went after him alone. As his friends, you and Paimon and Technai could never turn a blind to his predicament. Today we are continuing doing Sino story quest. Sino! Okay, we made it to Caravan Rebat. Where should we go next? Hmm. Maybe we should ask the nearby guards if they've seen anything. Hold on. Look over there. Is that Dia? <gasps> hey, Candace! Mm, you sure you want to brave the desert alone? I mean, it's your choice at the end of the day, but still. It's not my first time. I'll be fine. Sino. <gasps> the way he said, it, he's like, really my boy. With this, then at least take our advice. When you're packing for your trip. Budget for five days more than you plan to spend out there. Makes sense. Okay, I'll go get ready. He said, like, never mind! I might find you here. You're trying to retrace Cyrus's steps, aren't you? <sighs> Didn't I tell you not to come after me? I thought I had a good lead on you. Well, sorry, but we never agreed to that. Why would you go off on your own like this? Nothing personal. It's just a complex situation. And I'd rather not involve anyone else if I can help it. <laughs> Takes a special kind of person to get Sino chasing them all the way out to Caravan Rebot. But why so coy today, huh? You only gave us his age and description. Why can't you reveal his name? Is he Sumeru's most wanted or something? Oh, also, <laughs> hey guys, it's been a while. I know, especially Candice. Yeah, and Candice! So nice to see you. Actually, seeing all of our friends is the whole reason we're here. You're looking well. Glad to see it. Thanks. Candace and I came to Caravan Rebot on business. We ran like girlfriends, like people will say. Elderly gentleman's whereabouts. Some people say they saw him. <laughs> Guess he stood out as an older guy heading into the desert alone with just a sumpter beast in tow and very few supplies. That's got to be one heck of a story there. Sino, it's okay if you can't tell us anything about the case. But let us know how we can support you. We're here to help however you need. The more people we have working on this, the quicker we'll be able to find the person you seek. No, it's not that simple. If I'm right, he'll be doing everything he can to avoid us. We spoke with Zaha Hadi. From what she said, it's pretty clear that he wants to try and solve this on his own. It won't be easy trying to find him in the desert when he's deliberately trying to cover his tracks. Sounds like this is far more complex than we imagined. Still, if he started from Caravan Rebot, the chances are that his route took him past our village. He may as well ask if anyone there has seen him. <sighs> My thanks to you both. Once this is resolved, I will find a way to repay you. Ah, uh, come on. No need to get all serious. Just... Buy a round of drinks next time we're all in the city or something. <laughs> That's a deal. All right. So, you all set? Yes. We'll handle it from here. And thank you again for your help. I don't take it for granted. All right. Then we'll leave you to it. Just remember, if you change your mind and need some reinforcements, we'll be here. And don't think you'd be imposing. You can depend on us. Don't worry. We'll keep him out of trouble. I guess we're gonna help Sino because he doesn't want to help. Come on, Sino. Let's help you. No! But Candace is here. Yeah! Candace is nuts. Okay, I'll join. Move! Hold on. There's a few things I'd like to clear up. Yeah? <sighs> Go on. So, after you left the campsite, we had a longer talk. Oh, yeah, right. Just to make sure he knows everything's going on. Clearly, we've only scratched the surface of the Temple of Silence question. It doesn't surprise me at all that the one in the academia is a fake. Do you have any connection with the Temple of Silence? <sighs> I do. I trust you're all aware of the spirit that gives me my power. Herman Nubis, the original founder of the Temple of Silence. Due to my unique constitution, I was put through a number of trials in the desert when I was younger. Later, I met the professor. And he brought me to Sumeru City. But my memory of that time is hazy. I can't recall much. It's a good thing that Kave noticed the emblem on the letter. Without that, I don't know if we would have connected the dots and realized there was more to this case than mere extortion. I did not recognize that symbol at all. Whether that's because I've never seen it, or because my memory fails me, it's hard to say. 
Yeah, you're right. Thank goodness for Kave, and for all Haytham's diligence during his time as acting Grand Sage. But Cyrus must have recognized it right away, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't have had any qualms about you reporting it. Oh, maybe his connection to the Temple of Silence goes even deeper than yours. I suspect so, too. Professor has never once mentioned the Temple of Silence in conversation. And whenever the conversation turns to Hermanubis and the concept of spirit indwelling, he avoids going into any depth. Well, speaking of avoiding things, you do realize, don't you, now that we've caught up with you, you're stuck with us for the rest of the way. <sighs> I am aware. And I have accepted it. Hey, no best pipe. We got technology with them. Or rather, I don't see how I could manage to ditch you on route. So, I might as well accept that you're coming with me. Yeah, That's come on. That's right. Fact is, we're coming with you whether you like it or not. So the best option now is to try to look out for each other. Ha! You can't get rid of us. Fair enough. Why would I say that? Then at least let me buy you a drink once we're back in the city. Works for me. All right. Off we Weed. Go. Let's start by seeing what the guards here can tell us. Okay, who speaks Navy? Hello. Mahamatra Sino? I'm looking for someone. So I'd like to confirm any recent foot traffic in and out of Aru village. Sando Skyo Silas appears in a perverseness. Hmm. A man matching that description passed by Aru village not too long ago. He stopped by to load up on food and water and feed his sumter beast, and then he was on his way. Where was he going? Let me think. He took a seat by the entrance of the village for a while, and had a brief chat with the person who came to deliver the water. He said he was headed... somewhere near an oasis, but he didn't mention which one. Do you have a map? I can mark out the direction he was heading in the best routes to any nearby oases. I have one. Mark away. Great. Go on. There you go. <sighs> Thank you so much. You are a great help. You've got a really good memory. Ah, you're quite welcome. Just doing my job. Best of luck. I hope you find him soon. Okay, this is done. So the next footprint has to be way over there. So, can this these nuts? What? What the hell? Uh... No! No! Are you always making fun of my damn name? It's funny, deal. Oh, come on! Hold on. I see some people over there. No. Oh. Who's that? Do you think it's safe to ask them what they know? Should be. I'll go. He's like, wait. No. I'll do it. Takes a but Hey! You fuck us! Follow me! Why can go talk to them? What difference does it make? <sighs> Given my background, appearance, and the way I dress, I might not be the most welcome visitor here. Just in case... It's, it's better that way, better honestly. ...to let a more neutral party handle things. You speak. He's like, huh? He's like, excuse ah, me. Hello there. I hope I'm not interrupting. My friend and I are looking for an elderly man who's gone missing around these parts. Any chance I could ask you a couple of questions? Oh, a missing person, huh? Sure, sure, sure. What do you want to know? Who's the new character? I'm just wondering if you've seen him. Let me give you the details. Oh, I He said blah 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 So, a silver-haired guy in a long rope, culture type with thoughtful eyes, and he's traveling alone. He'd stand out like a sore thumb around here. Yeah, sounds like the kind of guy we'd remember if we saw him. He's looking behind me. Fuck. He's like, he's like, uh, uh oh, that guy's looking our way. Dallas Flamesdale, you guys saw that? Your friend over there stands out a lot too. Ooh, I don't know. See, you know, I'll keep recording. Hey, aren't you Sino, the General Mahamatra? Yes, that's me. You don't seem surprised that I recognized you. It wouldn't be the first time. Oh, you're the one looking for the old man who's gone missing, aren't you? I have a bad feeling about this guy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Someone's on edge. You don't trust me much, do you? No need to hide. <gasps> oh, he's he's electro too. I see it. Wary of us. Still. 
You came to us asking for help. Do you want it or not? I thought you were a group of merchants. Seems I was mistaken. <laughs> Your henchmen don't look like much. But something tells me they put up a better fight than most mercenaries. Hey! Hear that, guys? You're my henchman now. Suits me. As long as I get paid for it. Just cut to the chase already. I'm running out of patience. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Come with me. All of you. Where are you taking us? Don't you want to find your friend? Silver-haired, long robe, culture type with thoughtful eyes? <laughs> Sounds like there's a whole other side to Cyrus I didn't know about. So you know where he is? Just follow me. I'll take you to him. Um, okay. Give me a sec, guys. Okay, I should be good. Hopefully, we're meeting. Okay, wait! Hold up! Okay, from what I see before, he's actually a new character. That becomes playable soon. Alright, I'm here. And here. Uh, what? Where are you looking? There's nothing here. Hold on. Please step back. Something probably hidden. Ooh, something's coming out of the ground. Oh, no wonder why that what is John this looks. What is enormous building doing here? No wonder why that art looks kind of familiar. And how was it so well hidden? King Deshret's technology. Wait, so, hold on, who are you guys really? Is this the Temple of Silence? So you're a member? All good questions. There'll be plenty of time to address them later. Okay, now we go there and enter the domain. Where the fuck are we? Um. This is not what Paimon was expecting to find in the desert, especially not hidden right next to an oasis. Interesting. Oh, I'm scared. You can go behind me, Paimon. They must have kidnapped Cyrus. Do, do you think this is the guy who Rocka met in the tavern? Hmm. What's wrong? Thinking about your professor? Mm, uh, I just hope for your sake you haven't done anything you might regret. Oh, me too. Hope I haven't done anything to incur your wrath. Keep you caught up with this guy. But he's a vision holder, so we don't know if he's evil or not. Talk to the mysterious person? There, look at this place. Okay. Now we all gonna walk around this place. Look at this desk location. Damn, look at this place. So, guess we're going. So there's a mysterious person up ahead. Must be like, who is this person we're talking to? Capture our professor for some reason? What's the big deal? Now, now, let's keep going in. Open the door! Open! Okay, someone is. What is this I'm looking at? Are those books? Oh, damn, mostly books. But someone behind it is right there. Not showing his face yet, okay. Alright. You can wait here for now. I'll inform our leader that you've arrived at the Temple of Silence. Sit tight until he comes to greet you. Okay. Uh, so he's just gonna leave us here unattended? Hmm. Maybe we're not being kidnapped after all. We don't know that they yet. They can't have been at the Oasis by chance. They were waiting for us. Whoever the leader is here, they were obviously counting on us showing up. <sighs> So this is the Temple of Silence. After leaving the rainforest, they hid themselves here? Hey, look! That guy's coming back! Don't worry. Someone will come and call for you soon. What's your name? Please, at least tell us what to call you. <laughs> Sorry, guess I was so delighted to see you, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Sethos. I'll be here okay. if you need me, but... I'm not planning on answering all of your questions. Other than that, you can occupy yourselves however you see fit. So we're free to explore by ourselves? Yep. I mean, I'm not worried about you running off. Cyrus is here. And unless I've misunderstood, you're all quite anxious to see him again. 
<laughs> He's right. Well, if we've got some time, we might as well take a look around. I mean, sure, it's not so domain to explore in the meantime. So can I not go outside? I need a place to breathe. <gasps> the new guy I'll talk fuck less. Not first. Now these two, what are they talking about? Whoa, wait, 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 you know the joke? Fuck no, everyone I think it is knock knock. Ah, who still can this? I am not gonna say it. I never imagined that the true temple of silence would be hidden somewhere like this. We've passed through these parts before, but never noticed anything. Yeah, that's, that's true. King Deshret's technology for you, I guess. It borders on the miraculous. Amazing to think that it's been preserved intact all this time. We should be wary of our hosts. Still, at this point, we can be confident that the professor is safe and sound. So that's something. Hmm, at least. Oh, I do. It's up to you. Next. Have you got some time to chat? Sure. Although, I'm assuming by chat, you mean you have questions for me? <laughs> I don't blame you. Anyone else would. So you get a lot of people asking you questions? Not often. The Temple of Silence is a place of quiet and solitude. We don't get too many visitors. Hmm. Top to bottom, I guess? You're the one who tricked Ukwaki? Is I white? Yes, that was me. Although, tricked is a stretch. He was asking everyone in the tavern about ways to make some easy money. He insisted that nothing was off the table, even if it broke the law. So, I told him that Cyrus had embezzled a large sum of mora from the desert. So you framed Cyrus for a crime that he did not commit? No, no, no. That's not entirely true. Let me jog your memory. The letter just said that he had uncovered Cyrus's secret. It didn't say what secret that was. Do you tell him to use that wording? Of course. Raka was a great accomplice. Oh, Raka. Really. Oh, sure. Let's see the name. Cooperative with a little bit of wine in him. Did exactly what he was told. And not much of an original thinker, though. It doesn't surprise me that he struggles academically. Why did Cyrus leave for the desert as soon as he received the letter? You'll have to ask him that one yourself. Certain things I can't answer for him. I'm neither judging nor defending him. All you need to know is that he recognized our emblem. And it was his own choice to take the bait. Hmm. Do you know Sino? <laughs> what kind of question is that? He's the General Mahamatra. Everyone Most. in Sumeru knows who he is. Right. Most. Well, back at the Oasis, you can't have known who he was for sure, or you wouldn't have asked him. So, what we're really asking is... Have you never seen him in person before? I've lived in the desert my whole life. Guess you could say... I've never had the pleasure. Ugh. Why does Paimon feel like this guy's not being straight with us? Come on. We've only just met. If I give you all the answers up front, you'll have nothing left to look forward to. Have you ever been to the aca Academia? Nope. Not once. Really? I have no need to go there. Not when the taverns are full of the Urakas of this world. Besides, we're well aware of what goes on at that place. I assume you have spies inside the city? Spies? <laughs> it's not as clandestine as that. The city gates are wide open. Anyone's free to walk in. You can find out all you need to know just by walking around town and hearing the word on the street. That's all I want to ask. Mm-hmm. All right. Guess we'll... Chill. Gonna go. Who's that? Uh, here he is. Some normal-looking NPC. Seriously? Or is that a servant? That has to be a servant. That can't be the master. Where's the master? Damn, look at all these places. Damn, so much knowledge! So much knowledge around this book. In the throne? Grandfather, the person you wish to see is here. Well done, Sethos. What? So that's the last thing. Greetings, one and all. I am Ba Moon, the current leader of the Temple of Silence. I know why you are here, and I thank you for your patience. Bring him out. 
Jones. Professor! Cyrus, are you okay? Ah! Watch what you're doing! Oh, my apologies. We have no intention of causing you distress. But you must understand, Cyrus is of great importance to us. We had to find a way to bring him back to us. Cyrus owes me his life, and to the Temple of Silence, he owes a debt of gratitude. I let him go a long time ago, but now, the time has come to demand payment. <sighs> I wanted to end my feud with this old bag of bones before you caught up with me. But you got here so quickly. Just leave, Sino. This is a matter between us two old men. You're all too young to get involved. So that's why you didn't want to report the letter. You'd made up your mind to come here from the beginning. You only left in such a hurry to try and throw us off your trail. Some things in life catch up with you. No matter what you do, you shouldn't have come. That alone brought the others. Sino didn't make us do anything. We came here for the same reason he did. To yeah. rescue you. We'd appreciate you telling us the truth. Otherwise, it seems a little unfair on everyone who had to stay behind. My secrets are secret for good reason. Bringing them to light can only lead to misfortune. You're afraid, aren't you? You can't bring yourself to speak of your past deeds to the students you nurtured as if they were your own children. You recognized our emblem because for many years you lived among us. Indeed, you all but it was a sin and of among us, but us. now it's possible though. You knew as soon as you saw the letter that we, not Uraka, were the ones speaking to you. It threatened you only because you know what you did. Your own guilt convicted you. For you, Cyrus, are a traitor. You once shared your learning with us and joined us in our mission to revive the might of Hermanubis, to bring new hope, new opportunity. But then you betrayed us. You bargained for your independence with your past contributions. And then you left, taking with you Hermanubis' might and the wielder of his power. We both know what I said to you that day. That as the leader, I grant you permission to leave. But that one day, the sands of time will catch up with you. And when that day comes, you must pay the price you owe. <laughs> Damn. You really know how to hold a grudge. Hermanubis' might? And the wielder of his power? Does he mean you? <sighs> Professor. Anything to say? The moon is right. I came here once before. They rescued me from the brink of death once. Many years ago in the desert. When he learned that I was a scholar, he invited me to come here and revive the might of Hermanubis together. Uh, it was a great, daring plan. And one shrouded in secrecy. The Temple of Silence had been bereft of Hermanubis for too long. The strength of its faith and its warriors were waning. The Moon proposed that we implant bar fragments, shards of Hermanubis, into the bodies of suitable vessels. If the experiment was successful, the spirit of Hermanubis would then dwell within the vessel. Uh, many believers volunteered themselves for the experiment. But we soon discovered that the bodies of grown adults could not withstand Hermanubis' power. In the end, Bamoon offered his own adoptive grandson. One other child was identified as a suitable vessel, and his parents agreed to release him into our custody in exchange for a small fortune. These two children were our only hope for hosting Hermanubis' power. For many years, the Temple of Silence had been in possession of two Ba fragments from Hermanubis. As remnants of his raw power, they were exceedingly rare treasures. The test subjects were sent into a room that had been prepared for the ceremony. 
and instructed to approach the Ba fragments, whose power had been amplified. If, after some time, this power did not repel them, this would mean that they were suitable vessels. The original plan was for a three-stage experiment. Resonance, implantation, and recovery and observation. The resonance stage went quite smoothly for both candidates. As the second stage began, I realized a decision had to be made. Should we implant the fragments one at a time? This would allow us to monitor the results after the first round and adjust our plan accordingly. Or alternatively, we could implant each fragment in a different vessel at the same time and compare their effects. But as I was deliberating, both bar fragments suddenly became active. They glowed with a light we had never seen before. I knew that if they were not implanted right away, they would disintegrate and be gone from the world for good. Our two vessels had both displayed great promise by successfully resonating with the fragments. Under the circumstances, the thought of implanting both fragments into the same vessel seemed out of the question. To preserve our faith and our power, we implanted each of them with a single fragment. Ultimately, I ended the experiment and left, taking one of the children with me. In recognition of your past contributions, I chose not to send someone to hunt down and kill you both. Your lives were spared, but I have paid a great price for your betrayal ever since. I have always wanted to see you, Sino. Losing you and your Ba fragment dealt us a devastating blow. We've been in decline ever since you left. I see. So that's how I gained my power. Look, in essence, I borrowed your Ba fragment for a decade or so. And now you are seeking justice. If you want to take my life, then so be it. I'm an old man now, anyway. But you cannot lift a finger against Sino. He is the General Mahamatra. Uh -huh. Your actions would be seen as a declaration of war against the Academia. I'm sure you don't remember anymore, dear Sino, but you've met us all before. You were so young then, when we all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our Lord. You and he, Sethos, you were our final hope. <sighs> You'd like me to return my power? As a follower of Hermanubis, I no. allowed this power to remain in the rainforest for far too long. Now it is time to reclaim it. Of course. That power is not yours to reclaim. Sino was chosen by the gods. You cannot take what they have bestowed. You are wrong. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. My child, Sethos, has the same gift as he. So those are your terms for freeing the Professor? Despise me all you want. My sins are my own. The Temple of Silence is an innocent party. It is because of my Open foolishness next, all those years ago that the Temple's glory has waned. And now I must take responsibility for the decision I made back then. So what you're saying is... The power of one Ba fragment is not enough? You're asking me to return the one in my possession, so it can be implanted in him instead? Divine power causes great suffering to those who wield it. How do you know that Sethos would be able to withstand it? He is no longer a small child. But regardless, this burden is ours to bear. And your objections mean little, given that you turned your back on us long ago. <sighs> Both my heart and mind are telling me that what you are proposing is a terrible idea. However... Don't listen to him, Sino. That power is no more yours to give than it is his to take. You have to understand. I know. But if this is a question of your freedom versus a fragment of power, then... There is nothing to debate. Sorry to interrupt. But in my view, there are a number of contentions here that still need addressing. Say that Sino refuses to return his power, and you also refuse to release Cyrus. Uh -huh. Then we are at an impasse. 
I find it hard to believe that you went to all this effort without planning for that possibility. You're trying to gauge where we stand while keeping your remaining cards close to your chest. Well, my stance is, put the rest of your cards on the table. Then we can have a discussion. Wait, those ears? So, we have a descendant of the Valuka Shuna in our midst. <laughs> Splendid! <laughs> My god, dude. Fate smiles upon us after all. Everything we have longed for, Hermanubis will provide. Perhaps this very day we. <coughs> He's sick? <coughs> Why is he coughing so much? He looks like he's in really bad shape. Hmm. But Mons could do this critical. He, he must have been forcing himself to Ash Schwan. His eyelids must be feeling too, too. too. Otherwise, he would have no time to his ears by the way. Moon, you take our leader back to his room. <coughs> Sethos, <coughs> you must. Grandfather, I know what you wish to say. Leave this in my hands. I don't like to drag out conversations, so I'll just cut to the chase. Had Cyrus not stopped the experiment all those years ago, the plan would most likely have been a success. The wisdom of Herman Ubis would have been ours. Still, it's no use talking about what ifs. We cannot change the past. I'm not like my grandfather. The Temple of Silence has a grand legacy and a sacred duty to fulfill. So it's somewhat inevitable for the leader to have an inflated sense of self. But I see things a little differently. I don't believe the temple has the same stature that it once did. Time has worn away at its prestige and changed things almost beyond recognition. So I'm not going to force your hand. You're all free to leave, except for Cyrus. My grandfather gave him his chance once. And now I'm giving the rest of you yours. <laughs> you have courage and wise judgment, kid. Reminds me a lot of Bamoon in his younger years. I just... Oh, I truly wish that the temple would take an objective look at the academia of today. You've been to this city yourself. I'm sure you've seen that much has changed for the better, and things will only continue to improve. Why not consider cooperating with the Academia once more? If you hadn't betrayed my grandfather, I might well be open to persuasion. But it's a bit too late for that now, Cyrus. Hmm. Tainari made a good point earlier. He said there has to be more to your plan than this, and I agree. All you and Ba Moon are after is the Ba Fragment. The Professor will accept whatever fate you deem fit for him out of a sense of guilt. I am the one who has a choice to make. And that's how it was always going to be. Ultimately, you want to trade the Ba Fragment for the Professor, correct? I'm glad to see you're giving it some serious consideration. I won't forsake my Professor. Nor do I intend to run from a problem that I must face sooner or later. <sighs> Give me one night to make my decision. That works. Then I'll be waiting to hear your verdict. Sino. Oh, my grandfather still has a fair few things he wants to say to Cyrus, so I'll be escorting him back now. Are you sure about negotiating with him? I need to think this through. Everyone, let's meet again later tonight. Until then, take some time for yourself. All right. Well, don't put too much pressure on yourself, Sino. If you need any help working things out, just come and find us. Damn, this is now the way to like probably the next day apparently. <laughs> uh, hey, so is this explorable now or is this only for a story quest? <gasps> I'm not bring those pops and be like, fuck your pops, we don't need this. Yeah, it looks like this you could to explore freely now. The group gather again at the agreed time. I've taken some time to reflect on this. If I had to guess, Professor Cyrus came to the desert knowing that he would almost certainly never return. He's a stubborn man who tends to double down when he feels strongly about something. 
We won't get anywhere trying to convince him to escape. I agree. My master, Nephis, says the same thing. Once Cyrus makes up his mind about something, he won't listen to reason. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing. A few other things come to mind, too. You've heard all you need to hear about the Temple of Silence. So on that, I don't have anything to add. My own memories of this place are hazy, though. Probably something to do with the overpowering presence of the Ba Fragments. Hmm. That might explain why I suffered from constant headaches and fevers as a child. I do remember having some fleeting moments of profound emotion when vague images would appear in my mind. But I don't recall much, only bits and pieces. I was still young then, and all I could understand was that there was a strong will inside my mind. <sighs> Thinking back on it now, I suppose it was Hermanubis's way of trying to encourage me even if we couldn't communicate. The power that came to inhabit my spirit was probably one of the cornerstones of their whole faith. So if the will and might of Hermanubis is a real and tangible thing, and they are its rightful worshippers, then... You're not gonna give in to their demands, are you? Surely there has to be another way! Hmm. Don't make any last decisions, I know. No. I have no intention of returning it. I need this power to protect Sumeru. Of course he's but not going to do something. We right know him. To make the final decision over its fate, since it belongs to one of the seven pillars of King Deshret. So I will challenge them head on, and win the right to wield this power for myself, fair and square. Hmm. This reminds me of something Alhatham mentioned to me just before we left. He said that the Temple of Silence was originally founded by the ruling elite of the day. Traditionally, such organizations are bound by a strict and ancient code of nobility. Kave has made similar observations about the desert tribes from his work trips there. He says many of them have their own internal rules. They talk about the importance of never dishonoring their tribal bonds, or the rules laid down by their ancestors. I think we could turn that to our advantage. Go back to them with a proposal of our own. Wow, and just like that, we've turned the tables on them. Looks like we have the same idea. Turn it back on them now while we still can. In terms that they cannot refuse. That's how we win this. That sounds good to me. Great. And I know just how to start the conversation. Let's go find Sethos. We'll tell him that I know a thing or two about medicine and would like to take a look at his grandfather's condition. Hmm, if they cooperate. Now, let's find Sethos. Damn, so what is this place? This is like a place you walk inside and just sit down. You can't sit down here. I'm moving. Santos is what at the wonder knowledge this place is. Elite Santos. Santos? That's his name, right? Santos! Hello! Santos. Let's talk. He walks out. I was taking a shower. Have okay. You made up your mind? <laughs> we'll get to that, but first. I have some degree of medical training, so I was wondering if you might let me take a look at your grandfather? I have no objections, although we do have our own doctors here. I doubt you'll be able to tell us anything we don't already know. Hmm. Only one way to find out. Follow me. Keep your voices down. We don't want to disturb him. Okay, let's try to sign Do not tell us medicine kid before his basic medical exam. Hmm. Let's talk outside. Bamoon has fallen into a deep coma, and his prognosis is quite grave. I'm sure that your physicians have come to the same conclusion. He appears to have sustained a serious injury in his youth, which has been exacerbated over the years by the heavy burden of work and now by the effects of old age. Regretfully, I must inform you that, based on what I've seen with patients in a similar condition, he doesn't have long left. A few days, at most. Yeah. I've known for a long time. You're his heir, aren't you? You clearly have a lot of respect for the man. But you also see things differently. You have a broader range of concerns and a more pragmatic approach. So tell me how we can end this on your terms. Let's find a way to bring all this to a resolution while Bamun is still alive to see it. That's what really matters to you. I know it. Yeah, there's no time to waste here. You know that better than anyone. <sighs> you know, the two of you are actually in a very similar predicament right now. Both of you have a very different perspective from the men who raised you. Right. And you didn't create this situation. 
they did, but somehow you've ended up having to make the tough decisions. You're right. We both look at this problem very differently than the people we inherited it from. I accept, Sino. This all began because of Hermanubis. So let's end it with the right he himself created. Legend has it that when Hermanubis first arrived in Tuletula, he sparred with the city's residents. He and his two companions proved their mettle by fighting over several days, winning the support of many fine people. That group of supporters were some of the first members of the Temple of Silence, and the sparring matches were enshrined as one of our founding rites, the right of duels. That's where it all began. Sounds very fitting. I'm in. As a fellow vessel of Hermanubis, your ties to the Temple of Silence run deep. So I will permit you to participate in this rite, along with your chosen companions. Three against three. Sounds good. However, I have some additional terms. As the challengers, you must win all three of your fights to win. And Sino? Both of us must put our Ba fragment on the line. The winner takes them both. Letting Cyrus leave with one of the Ba fragments was a mistake, made by my grandfather out of pity. It is a long-standing issue that must be addressed for the Temple of Silence to move forward. I can make no concessions on that front. None needed. We're on the same page. If I win, the Temple of Silence must release Cyrus and consider this past dispute resolved. If you win, I'll return my power to you. It's a deal. Then let's meet at the ceremonial hall tomorrow evening, 8 o'clock. Ah, oh, okay, timestamp. Now, I'll talk with Sino before we get started. Alright, Sino, what you gotta say? Well, after how that went, there's definitely no turning back now. There never was. Turning back hasn't been an option for me since the moment the professor slipped away to return to the desert. You have to win. You need this power, both as General Mahamatra and for yourself. Yeah, that's right. Besides, it stayed with you ever since you were a small child. Surely that's a sign it thinks of you as its rightful owner. <laughs> both as General Mahamatra and for myself. Yeah, when you put it that way, I've had to overcome a lot to tame this power and claim it for myself. Not everyone could have done that. Exactly! Mm, let's not get sidetracked. We gotta focus on winning. The Traveler and I will never lose. And neither shall I. The desert was home to an ancient and great civilization that for a variety of reasons fell out with the civilization of the rainforest. It's just as Dia said. Prejudice has pushed people apart, but there must be personal factors at work here, too. I can't shake the feeling that Ba Moon cares for many more things than he lets on. And I don't think that Sethos is any kind of villain. He's just doing what he thinks is best. Tomorrow, everything will be resolved. Like, Sano's super technology, that'd be kind of like... Oh, oh Fuck, time to kick some ass. Is there any chest around this area? Okay, I'll see. We gather on this day to perform once more the rite of duels with the greatest of all sages, Lord Herman Nubis, as our witness, for his power and authority is present in our midst. This is our most sacred of ceremonies, and no disruption from the audience shall be tolerated. It is incumbent upon all to observe the duel with the utmost respect and reverence throughout the proceedings. Representing the Temple of Silence, the Defender. Grandfather, you're here. <coughs> A rite of duels after all these years. I am surprised by your decision, Sethos. I know what I'm doing, Grandfather. Just leave it to me. Representing the Academia, the Challengers. Yeah, kind of... Actually, not Jojo posing. Palm it on, Count. Get out of here. Ready. We will fight to have our voices heard. Warriors, 
Take your positions and decide on the order of battle. We come not to debate what brings our challengers here, nor what will become of the defeated duelists. Duelists! The might of Hermann Nubis himself is at stake here. Now, fight. Fight until the rightful victor is proclaimed! I'll go first. Huh? Are you sure? I'm sure. We want to keep our memorials. I agree. He's very strong. Sending him out first will definitely intimidate the opposing side. Okay, then you're second. Sure. We have decided. So have we. Let's begin. I guess I'll be the main care for this through the battle. Duelists of the first bout, please step forward. With my duel as blade. Hey, still in my ass. And Paimon, leave it to me. Don't forget, safety first. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know. Hey! Damn, I barely have any bills for the main character. Jeez, that's the annoying part. I mean, I stopped grinding for the main character at this point. Even though he's level 80? Oh, it's a child now, man. I am gifted. I am the gifted main character. Hey, why actually enemies, not actual people enemies? That's kind of funny, if you ask me. A swift end to the first bout. I now invite the duelist of the second bout to please step forward. When you're both ready, you may begin. Let's begin. Ooh, is it enemies Watch or out. people? Oh, these fuckers! Help! I don't like things! So he should be fine. No, no, no. Okay, Tainai. Okay, okay, these are child counters. So, they're gonna lose in a second. Just like, take the knockerweed! Sniff them! You're dead. Wait, you're dead. That took only seconds. And <laughs> not challenging at all. Thus ends the second bout. We will now move to the third bout. Duelists, please step forward. I'm of ready. Course. So am I. This is the final stage of the right. I remind you both that the terms you agreed upon in advance are binding. When you're both ready, you may begin. I am Sethos, vessel of Hermanubis, grandson of Bamun, the leader of the Temple of Silence. For many years, we have kept our covenant with Lord Hermanubis by guarding the secrets of King Deshret. And even in our darkest hour, when we could not see a way forward, we chose not to abandon hope, but to embark on a brave new experiment so that we might prevail. We earnestly sought Lord Hermanubis's wisdom and power, longing to see his spirit and his light descend upon us. Now, I will fight to become the rightful wielder of that power. I am Sino, General Mahamatra of the Academia, student and successor of Cyrus, the Sage of Spantamod. I fight in defense of my power, my professor, and my nation. And you, mm -hmm. I think you left some things unsaid. This is a sacred duel, and Hermanubis is watching. So bear your soul. <laughs> Everyone, old and young, fit and frail, they're all waiting to see how this duel will end. My grandfather is a wise leader. Nah. He is also known to be a ruler who is not afraid to get blood on his hands. I understand his beliefs well, and I know what he expects of me. But our faith has held us back for too long. After I grew up, I went to the rainforest once, and I saw for myself the people of the city. Times have changed. The people of Sumeru are happier and more free now than in the past. I thought about this as I stood at one of the tallest points in the city, gazing down at the streets below. Then I thought of you, Sino. You and I both wield the same power, but the lives we lead could not be more different. Each Ba fragment of Hermanubis stands for something different. Might, glory, 
one of many other secrets that have yet to be revealed. I once thought that the nature of our fragments must be what makes us so different from one another. But, maybe, it's that you found your answer. And I am still searching for mine. I am more than just a warrior. I am my own person. Exactly. The name Hermanubis has left its mark on both of us, shaped the course of our lives. We are his vessels, and yet we are more besides. So show me your answer, Sino. Show me I can be more than my faith, more than the power I wield. Show me the person I can become! Bring it on! Okay, I'm being silent for this one, huh? Oh, Cassie, the Astral's fine, okay. Him too! Oh! Okay! Different claw marks, okay. Thing. Okay. This is like an the basic enemy battle with the spear. That's all you've got. What happened is searching for your answer. Close his power. Close it. Close your two. Take out your spears. Oh! That one is different. The other one. Okay. It's over. Do you yield? <sighs> you won. Well, I got a feeling. Looks like you found your answer. I feel like you didn't win all out, honestly. <sighs> Did it on purpose. And he's like, fuck! Give his glory to you. That's what it looks like. Okay, interesting. <sighs> I've seen that light. What's next? I don't put it back that in his body. Is the light of our Lord, the great Hermanubis. Priest over all other priests. His spirit dwells within that lightning, and his will lives on. Once a warrior of Tynar, he emerged from the barren desert sands to serve the god king Al Ahmar. After the death of the god king, Hermanubis gathered his followers and the Tynarian priests and led them to the city of Tule Tula. There, they founded the Temple of Silence. And from that day forth, we became stewards of all knowledge that survived from King Deshret's civilization. Barely a century passed before war ravaged the desert. One by one, Aramite leaders took up arms against each other in battles that would devour what little remained of their civilization. Only the wise city of Tule Tula was spared under the guiding hand of the Tynarians. But peace did not last. Coveting the knowledge of King Deshret, 
The knowledge. beasts set their eyes on Tule Tula. The king of Gurabad laid siege to the city and ordered the sages to surrender to him the Temple of Silence as proof of his victory. The ruling elite colluded with their oppressors, Why was I know? betraying the temple so as to hold on to their rule over the city. They declared that the knowledge guarded by the temple was the true cause of corruption. These were dark days, and we faced enemies on all sides. Our lord had long since exhausted his strength, keeping the forbidden knowledge introduced by King Deshret at bay. To ensure the temple's continued survival, he broke his being into many pieces and began the ceremony of Hermanubis's legacy, bestowing his power upon his from. mortal okay. followers. With this power, the temple was able to defeat the tyrant's army. Yet, we were not hailed as heroes. Strange and unfamiliar as this power was, it struck fear into the people's hearts and drove them to reject us. In the end, the people of the temple and the Tule Tula Tainarians left the city for good and made their way to the rainforest. What followed next was inevitable. The elite of Tule Tula fell and were decimated. War engulfed the desert. And we wandered from place to place, always in hiding, all the while keeping close watch over our secrets and staying true to our mission. Betrayal forced us out of the desert and into the forest. Then mistrust drove us from the forest into the desert once more. We have lived in exile for far, far too long. Yet, today, the Temple of Silence has borne witness to the glory of Hermanubis once more. Thank you. Are you dead? No, he'll take it back. Like what? <laughs> like he's dead, huh? <laughs> he passed. He's gone. We all bow to the one that died and fucked up. Grandfather. Aw oh, man, you sent another member of the temple of Bitfarewell to Bemo. He died on his day. In the grand hall, people gathered around the coffin to pay respects. Hey, Sethos. You'll get through this. I know. I just... I'll miss him. I'm so sorry for your loss, but he was an asshole! I guess you were prepared for this. It's been a long time coming, huh? Yeah, uh, he's been on death's door for a very long time now. I think it was only through sheer willpower that he managed to hold on at this point. At least, he was able to see this chapter come to a close uh, before he passed. What's next for you? Per my grandfather's last wishes. The Temple of Silence should submit to whoever possesses the largest number of Hermanupus fragments. That entitles you to be our new leader, Sinai. Mm, I don't know. <sighs> but that's never going to work, as I'm sure you realize. Exactly, yeah. I'm the General Mahamatra. I am needed back at the Academia. I did foresee this possibility, and I gave it some thought. The fact is, I know next to nothing about the staff, records, and environment here. As such, I am ill-suited to be your leader, Sethos. I believe the honor 
should go to you. Were it not for this duel, or indeed if you had other intentions, the Ba fragments would most likely be in your hands by now. I'm sure Ba Moon never meant for anyone but you to be his successor. <laughs> you really think so? I do. Still, I didn't think Ba Moon looked very surprised by the final result. Perhaps he had an inkling that this would be the way things end. Well, in any case, since the Ba fragments are with me now, I guess I can call the shots, Sethos. I would like you to succeed Ba Moon as the new leader of the Temple of Silence. You are more suited to the role than I, and I have complete faith that you will be an excellent leader. Just think of it as doing me a favor. Uh, but doesn't that render everything that we've been through up to now meaningless? <laughs> no, it doesn't. This experience has allowed us to become friends, which means that the Academia and the Temple of Silence will become partners once more. That's a much bigger deal than you might think, Seth. I could be mistaken, but you said also yourself, cousins. Times have changed. They look like it. But you have I don't know if they things all can are change not. for the better here at the temple too. I will try. To be honest, I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Actually, part of me wonders whether Ba Moon's intentions from the very beginning was just to create enough pressure to force us towards a duel. That way, no matter who won, one of us would have to surrender our Ba Fragment, and the power of Herm Anubis would be concentrated in one single person. Had you won, the Temple of Silence would have doubled its strength, and were I to win, he correctly anticipated that I wouldn't suddenly drop everything to become the leader of the Temple, much less integrate the Temple into the Academia by force. He knew that the Temple's future would depend not just on the guidance of Herm Anubis, but the support of the Academia too. So he made it his responsibility to ensure his successor would be free from the burdens of the past. His plan meant that whoever ended up succeeding him, they would have an easier time interacting with the Academia. <laughs> with one single letter, he lured out the Professor. No matter what happened after that, it would result in a net benefit to the Temple. And here I thought the General Mahamatra wouldn't care for all these trivial details. You're absolutely right. Grandfather and I considered this from every angle. We had to find a way to mend our relationship with the Academia. In that sense, the right of duels was just a means to an end. Thank you for everything, Sino. As a gesture of our gratitude, to those that you and Lesser Lord Kusanali deem worthy, I will grant the honor of access to the Temple of Silence for their pursuit of knowledge. The Temple of Silence has a wealth of information on King Deshret's civilization more than any other organization in existence today. In times when you need information that only we can provide, we will be here to support you. But you must be exceedingly careful with your selection of candidates, lest you lead humanity to repeat the same mistakes. By the way, Tainari, my grandfather was so happy to see you. You are a descendant of the Veluka Shuna. And we are the heirs to the will of Hermanubis. The story goes that King Deshret chose the sage Hermanubis from among the Tainarians and appointed him as his familiar. He went on to fight many valiant battles with his Tainarian companions. No, all his names are always okay. stood by each other, from the founding of the Temple of Silence to the fall of Tuletula. The Tainarians who left Tuletula joined their human counterparts in the rainforest. A few centuries later, when some of the group returned to the desert, many of the Tainarians chose to stay and put down roots in the rainforest. In all likelihood, those were your ancestors. How fascinating. My father once mentioned that I was named after the Tainarians, but I never knew that my forebearers had such a history with the Temple of Silence. I like this story. Uh, by the way, has anyone seen Cyrus? Ah, uh, yes. Cyrus. You'll probably find him in my grandfather's room. He wouldn't show it in front of me, but... I think he still has many fond memories of my grandfather. If it's true that you and your grandfather really planned for everything to turn out this way, then I guess he didn't really resent Cyrus as much as he appeared to. <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps all of us. You, me, and Cyrus. We're all just pawns in my grandfather's plan to set things straight. 
He was awful like that. Someone's got to make the decisions when history is at a crossroads. I will make a detailed report on all of this to Lesser Lord Kusanali. And arrange for an official delegation from the Academia to come and meet you in the desert. I'm sure you'll have lots to attend to in the days ahead. But once things return to normal, please come and visit the rainforest again. You should stay for a few days this time, and start to build some relationships. If we're going to work together, both sides have to get to know one another better. I will. All right. Well, bye for now, everyone. I'll be seeing you. See you soon. Come hang out with us anytime. Good luck to you, Santos. Uh, right now we are returning back home. Open the gate! It is great to be home. I'm back! What were you thinking, gallivanting off into the desert alone at your age? Oh god. <laughs> Take the fuck, hmm? You told not a soul what you were up to, designated nobody to handle your affairs, and left everyone scrambling frantically to try and figure out how on earth to clean up the colossal mess you'd made. Oh, please, will you stop your yelling? What other choice did I have? What do you mean, what other choice? Do you mean to tell me that after all your years of learning, and sagehood no less, the only idea you could conjure up in that white-haired walnut of yours was to shoot off into the unknown like some hot-headed 20-year-old adventurer? A one-man suicide mission, hmm? That's the best idea that one of the finest minds of a generation could come up with, is it? It astounds me that you survived the journey, and you're lucky that Ba Moon didn't finish you off when you arrived. All right, all right. Honestly, the way you're going off on me, it's like you wish you'd been there to lend him a hand. Does it mean nothing to you that I'm your colleague and former classmate? <sighs> I've got nothing more to say. What's the point of berating an old bag of bones? What do you mean, bag of bones? I'm a flesh and blood hero who, despite his old age, saved our General Mahamatra from being stripped of his powers. Okay, look. <sighs> Fine, I admit it, I was in the wrong. How can I make it up to you? What about, uh, a month's work at the Academia? <laughs> One month? Try three. Hainari's master is really laying into Cyrus. Um, let's give them a wide berth. Yeah, we're too young to get involved. <sighs> Professor brought this on himself. Don't pay any attention to him. Wow, I haven't seen Master get this riled up in a long time. The last time he chewed someone out like this must have been back when I was still a student. I think I'll go around and update everyone, tell them the situation's resolved. Want to come with me? We can go for dinner afterwards. My treat. You in? <gasps> I see Clyde Downdale! I'm in. Always happy to help. Hyman's coming too! Let's go! I see Colleague Downdale. Hold up a sec. Do we talk to Colleague? <gasps> with Hassaday, Miku! Hey, Kale. So Uncle Techno and Tech. I mean, yeah, I mean, Uncle Sano! Uh -huh. You're back! <laughs> well, look who we have here. Would you mind explaining to me what has been going on this past few days? I heard you all ran off into the desert and got embroiled in a major catastrophe. All taken care of. That does not answer my question. How could you be so careless? That goes for you as well. Yes, and you too. Uh, Paimon is to blame, not me. When you run into problems, you really ought to ask for help, you know? I've been around the block. Don't you think it would have made sense to involve me? And let's not forget, I know the desert like the back of my hand. Now would not be a good time to attempt to argue with Farazan. Why not? Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. It's not the first time that I've had to talk to you about this sort of thing, either. You need to learn that there are times when the right thing to do is get a more experienced member of staff involved. Do I make myself clear? Because if you don't, I... <sighs> Kale, please do something. Come on! He's giving me the signal. All right, guess it's time to play my ace in the hole. Okay! Um, say, Madam Farizan. Okay! You're pretty upset, but, uh, I was just wondering. Remember that time you offered to give me a tour of the academia? Does that offer still stand? Huh? Uh, oh, wait, did I hear that right? Kale, you remember? Wonderful. Well, of course the offer still stands. Come on. Madam Farazan will show you around the old classrooms. Now she's gonna call out, I fucking hate you, Sino! Poor Kale getting dragged off like that. 
Also, check out Faro's on acting like some sort of official academia tour guide. <coughs> Kale, cup. Huh? What? Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> right. Hmm? What do you mean, cup? You need a cup. I can get you a cup. Oh, uh... <laughs> it's nothing. Just Master's way of reminding me to stay hydrated while I'm out and about. <laughs> Don't be suspicious, colleague! <laughs> it's code for, let's reconvene at the cafe. Tainari and I used it while we were in school, and it's become something of a family tradition now. <gasps> the family?! Oh, that's kind of fun! Oh, yes mm -hmm. it is. Two people left. Let's bring them along, too. Oh, I know you're thinking. Calvin and hate them. Let's go. Pineapple pizza is not good. Shut the fuck up, dude. It's amazing. I never heard of from this myth from Hawaiian. Hawaiian people made that. I changed my mind. They were actually delicious. Told you. It's just social media made you think that. <laughs> the last two people who I could think of is... Yeah, only coffee. Oh, no, I see him. Hey, them. Hey, you two. Just sing down winning books. But am I hallucinating? Or do I see Kave and all hate them engaged in... Diligent studying? We're just reorganizing all the books we used. Look, there's a whole mountain of them. There's no rush. Nobody reads these books anyway. My sincere thanks to you both. Yes, with your help, we resolved the issue rather swiftly and painlessly. And the outcome was better than we could have hoped for. Sorry for a hill and Kyle, they're happy in the desert. Good. I see. The Temple of Silence resorted to rather unique means of self-preservation. It explains how they managed to remain hidden for so many years. And it sounds like they managed to preserve a whole load of ancient documents as well. I'd love to go check those out if I ever had the chance. That day will come. The Temple of Silence is a hugely important organization, and we'll be sure to maintain good relations with them in the future. Now, as a token of my appreciation, I'd like to treat everyone to coffee. <laughs> huh? Sounds good. Starbucks? Yeah, sounds great. Um... Although, after the last few days, I don't know if I can handle another coffee, but I can just order something else. Sure. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, To Starbucks! Where is Holly Cafe? And then, the Traveler just pounced up their opponent and knocked them right out cold! Then there was Tanyari! He put up an amazing fight, too! We ended up winning all three bouts! Whoa! Part of me wishes I'd been there to see it, but... I'd have been biting my nails off worrying about you guys. Aww. A truly edifying account of the events. Bereft of detail, but it has livened up the room all the same. Hey, Paimon included all the juicy details. The Traveler just pounced and then waved their sword like this, then spun around and blocked. <laughs> Paimon just posing with that is so amazing. <laughs> Genesha has a poo from him. the emotion. That's very dignified of you, Sino. Of course. Being dignified comes with being a true champion. I got to be a champion too for once. I've not sparred much with desert folk before. It was a pretty unique experience. The veil was pretty impressive too, a very ceremonial fail. Yeah! Huge place! It felt like something right out of an epic poem! Imagine this. It was like there was... Maybe save that one for later, Paimon. Dessert's here. <gasps> Yay! Everyone enjoy AV, others copy, and the general Mata's generosity. The shock we left the... I think that'll do me for today. Shall we stop off at the house of Dana again before heading home? We should probably finish putting all those books back. My thoughts exactly. See you around. I should get going as well. See you all later. Make sure you get some good rest tonight. I need to go say thanks to the Core 30 for their help. Also, Sir Nephis says he wanted to introduce me to some of the Academia's work processes. So, I got a dash too. Kali's come a long way. She's much more confident at dealing with other people these days. Everyone's a work in progress. You never stop learning. Yeah, true. Now we leave the cafe. So, story quests. Oh, not yet. Now, well, side. <sighs> that was good. It feels like everything's finally wrapped up now. Life is all about these moments when you can finally relax and hang out with good friends after a job well done. And also, those desserts Sino got, they were really good. Paimon definitely needs more of those in the future. Then let's come back again sometime. Do you three have anything planned for the rest of the day? If not, would you come somewhere with me? Sure, where are we going? That's a secret for now. 
wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. Okay. I think I can guess what you're talking about. It'll definitely be a nice surprise. Well, now Paimon's curious! Come on, let's go! Tainali, I'm surprised he's gonna go. Well, the surprising part is that we... I could have, the last time we see Kavi and I hit them together, they argue a lot. It looks like they just got used to each other all of a sudden. That's a good one pooping from those two. Okay! Well, hey, uh, Wait, we'll stay on the edge? Are you crazy, dude? I mean, it's a big tree, so it'd be good. Been a while since I last made my way up here. Wow, look at this place! We're so high up! Need any help? Uh... I am actually a tree climbing champion. <laughs> As you wish. I chip but like ah! this spot, isn't it? What a great view! We're so high up, we can see for miles. Traveler. Yeah. Turn around. What? What am I looking at? Oh, no, mind. <laughs> I love something else. It's beautiful. This is my secret base. Somewhere I only bring my best friends. When I was a student, I used to slip away and climb up here all the time, just to clear my head. I was quite young then, and hadn't made too many friends yet. Back then, I had a lot of the same questions that Sethos was asking. Who am I? Why do I have this power? And what should I be fighting for? Our gifts help us to find our rightful place in the world. True, 100%. That was my experience, and... I'm sure Sethos will figure things out in his own time, too. Hmm. We will remain incredibly linked to the Temple of Silence. <laughs> you two really are like brothers. I feel the same way. Hmm. You're one tough cookie, Sino. <laughs> of course. I see no need to be humble when it comes to the facts. I still remember one time when we came up here to chat and do our homework. Sino accidentally dropped a fruit. Luckily, he has fast reflexes, so he caught it just in time. That was the one and only time. Nothing will ever slip through my fingers again. <sighs> Those were good times. I kind of miss the student life. Me too. Paimon you know, really shouldn't be able to imagine Sino doing something like that, but for some strange reason, the mental image is coming through clear as day. Then make it stop. Hmm. There's somebody there. It's Professor Cyrus. You guys carry on without me. I'll be right back. Okay. He jumps down. Huh? Hey, you're not supposed to jump down. Be careful. I was about to jump down. That though, crazy. He's like, oh, my foot. Oh, oh, I'm good. I'm kidding, guys. Oh, I guess I'm being sorry for this. Uh, professor. Hey, Professor. I'll talk to you as I know. Oh, my days. I can't believe how stupid I look in this one. <sighs> Professor, what are you muttering to yourself about? Sino, <laughs> just the man I'm looking for. Guess what I found in some old notebooks. <sighs> some hey. old photos. Oh my god, that's he's so cute! What the fuck? Can you believe it? This notebook was just sitting in a pile of odds and ends in the sage's office. I must have Why to is that so adorable? And no one's touched it since. It was still right there. Look at Sano. Cute in a young age. To discuss my workload with Nephis. I swung by the old office to have a look around and just happened to cross it. Oh, time flies. Look how tiny you are in this picture. Still a kid. You look quite young yourself in that one. Ah, it's this one. I remember that. Lisa took it, didn't she? Yep. Looks like her work, all right. <laughs> Who else could have found just the right angle to make me look so unbelievably hideous? And this one. Looks like we're both dozing off. <laughs> oh, cheeky girl. Taking secret photos of us without our knowledge. Is there something you'd like to say to me, Professor? Like what? Like, these are good photos, aren't they? <sighs> hey. At moments like this, I... I hardly know where to begin. I can't pretend I'm a good person. But Moon had every reason to despise me. And well, so do you if you feel the same way. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, you old codger. Uh, is that not what you wanted me to say? Oh, I've dreamt of that place many times after leaving the desert. 
Sometimes I've dreamed that I was doing research with them again. And other times, I dream of the day they saved my life. Oh, it was one of the happiest times of my life. We all learned so much from one another. You've matured so much over the years, I know. Mm, do we know that? Since you're my professor, I should save you some face by not calling you out on all the non-answers you just gave. So, I will do the right thing and keep my mouth shut. Hmm. Good thinking. Take your own advice next time. Seriously, why bully an old man like me? I thought heroes were supposed to be gracious. Hey, wait. Uh, how did I not notice this one earlier? <laughs> Lisa strikes again. Just how many did she take? Look how cute you were when you were little. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. How well mannered you were back then too. Yeah, and look how serious and professional you used to be. Oh, I can't compete with you anymore. First you get better than me at the deadpan jokes, and now you're besting me at those little quips too. <laughs> Don't say that. I still have a lot of respect for you. <laughs> That's more like it. Even now. Hey, what would you say to meeting up with Lisa again sometime? <laughs> I'd like that. Let's find a time and pay her a visit in Mondstadt. Alright. Probably in future I'll events. To my schedule. Uh, let's go next week. Wait, no. Next week is the tomato growing competition. I have got to beat Zaha Hadi. Or you could find a real hobby, Professor. So this is the end or back to me again? Okay, the end. That's a very sweet ending, if you ask me. Alright, I'm gonna veil. Like, subscribe, I'll see you on the other side.